So here is compulsory we should mention name, resume preparation. One is name Sri Devi, mail ID and a mobile number. First career brief. Involvement in setting setting up test environments like requirements management, client interactions, test strategy, development, test planning and generating the basic test, enhancing the test, executing the test, debugging the test, analyzing the results and the status report. So here professional summary. So what are the areas you worked? Just that areas we should mention. What are the concepts you, you know? That uh, concept we should mention here. Around seven plus, uh, seven plus years of IT experience in software testing in which around two years in test automation of client server and web based application using Selenium. Only two years we mentioned here. Well versed with all the stages of software development life cycle HDLC and software testing life cycle HDLC. Experience in test environment setup both manual and automation. Good exposure on requirements, understanding and analyzing. Well versed with various testing levels, testing types, testing techniques and quality work products. Experience in functional and non-functional testing. Non-functional testing means availability, usability, reliability and compatibility. Availability. All the buttons are available or not. No need to perform any action. Without performing any actions, we can see and say. Usability that application is user friendly or not no need to perform any action without performing any action We can see and say reliability application reliability reliability testing reliability testing is nothing But so if one perform continuous actions on the application So in order to find out the stability of the application So the type of testing is known as reliability testing next compatibility that application is compatible with this environment or not no need to perform any actions without performing any actions we can see and say this type of testing is known as non functional testing so very strong experience in writing test cases we will write the test cases expertise and block bus testing techniques like bba ecp and use case testing bba means bound value analysis ecp means equivalent class partitions use case document prepared by business analyst next Experience in static and non-static functions and actions. Very good knowledge in Java concepts, inheritance, interface, overloading and overloading. Good experience in dynamic handling, file system and exception handling. Expertise on object class and string class. Good experience on reflection API. Experience in working with open source tools like oh, Selenium, Selenium ID, Selenium RC, Selenium WebDriver. Good experience in Selenium ID and creating scripts and Selenium ID by using Java. Good experience on Selenium ID. Good experience on Selenium Arts. Good experience in developing the scripts in WebDriver. Experience in preparing uh, preparation of automated frameworks using JUnit, comma test ng. Data driven framework, page object model framework. Good experience in developing the scripts using all annotations in JNUT and testing. Expertise in finding XPath of the every web element. Expertise in writing the scripts using ID, comma, name properties. Expertise in property file creation. Legendary class, mouse movements. Very good experience in dynamic handling web table, comma, pop-up window handling. Work closed with development and technical support teams too. Resolve quality issues. These are the these are the professional summary. So next educational qualification. BTEC, BTEC and completed year. Work experience. I am working as a test engineer in CAB Germany from 2005 to till late. Operating system, software skills. Operating systems Windows 98 2000 professional XP Windows 2000 server and Unix Windows 7 Languages C C++ Java databases MS access SQL server automated testing tools Selenium only test management tools test director quality center tool and utilities MS office web technology we be scripting language So this is the projects first project Garner instance. I will explain you this project, sir. Garner instance. Only just you should tell only 
present project information only. No need to tell all the project information. So I will uh, teach you two projects, sir. One is insurance project, second one is banking project. So first and the second I will teach you, sir. This region just keep it. Third, home lending system for CWBOA. Fourth, American global finance services. Fifth one, online incident management system. Sixth one, hospital information system. Seventh one, price and promotion management and product induction management. These are the project I will uh, give you, sir. Same to same resume, just keep in your desktop. And at the same time, you know, sir. So I will explain you these two projects, sir. Project, Garner Insurance, Insurance Project, Second Project, E-Banking System, I will explain you, sir. With that knowledge, you can work with any software company. You can share the, you can All these points I need to explain, sir. Just tell me your end-to-end -end testing process. First point, whenever you are getting any software job, so first of all, we need to understand all the requirements. That is called FRS review. FRS means functional requirement specification. This requirement is given by customer so first of all we need to understand the, all the requirements each and every software company they will give nearly 30 to 40 days for only understanding the customer requirements like uh, you know if it is small company if it is small project they will give 15 to 20 days if it is big company if it is big uh, project they will give nearly 30 to 40 days just we need to understand the requirements that is called review review means frs review functional requirement document review so first of all we need to understand the requirements that is called frs review Next, test plan review. Test plan document prepared by test lead. So, he will prepare one test plan. How to do this particular project successfully? He will give one set of guidelines. So, that guidelines we need to understand. So, that guidelines we need to study. That is called FRS. Sorry, test plan review. Next, BRS. BRS means business requirement specification. This document prepared by business analyst. He will give a set of guidelines. So, just based on the FRS only, he will prepare the BRS. So, first of all, we need to understand the all the FRS as well as BRS also. So, BRS means how to do this work very simply. So, he will give a set of guidelines. Using that guidelines, we will work with the particular project. So, how to complete that work? So, he will give, first of all, we need to understand BRS review also. Participating in the review meetings, so each and every software company they will conduct review meetings like Friday or Sunday they will conduct these review meetings. So some companies they will conduct Friday, some companies they will conduct Monday. So some companies will they will conduct Friday, some companies they will conduct Monday. So we need to participate in the review meetings. So review meetings means so based on the customer requirements we will analyze, we will study the, all the requirements. So we will uh, share with others. And, Identifying the scenarios. What scenarios we need to test? So, what are the scenarios we need to test? Scenario means a situation. So, based on the situation, we will write the test cases. For example, we have one scenario. For example, scenario means uh, we have one Gmail application. So, uh, that is scenario is we need to enter username, we need to enter password, we need to click on login button. That is scenario, sir. We need to enter username, we need to enter password, we need to click on login button. That is the one of, one of the scenario. So we need to write the test cases. How to write the test cases? How many test cases we can write for, uh, uh, write for that scenario? Yes, we can write three to four test cases. First, we will enter wrong username and right password. We need to click on login button, one scenario. We need to enter right username, wrong password. We need to click on login button. That is second scenario. We need to enter username, uh, wrong username, wrong password. We need to click on login button. That is third scenario. We need to enter right username, right password. We need to click on login button. That is fourth scenario. So. Uh, that is test cases. So only one scenario we are writing four test cases. So what are the scenarios we need to find out first of all? Scenario means it is a situation. Scenario means it is a situation. Pre-writing the scenarios. 
which scenario we need to uh, rectify immediately so we will list it out here in this section that it that is called prioritizing the prioritizing the scenarios next designing the test cases so we need to design the test cases. design means we need to write the test cases how to write the test cases based on the customer requirements we will write the test cases so based on the customer requirements only we will write uh, test cases next involving the peer review peer means colleague colleague so colleague review so we will uh, already we wrote some test cases so then that colleague he will review the test cases based on the customer requirements this test cases is correct or not he will review and these test cases we will review so that is called peer review next sending the test case document to the lead review after writing the test cases we will send the test case document to lead review lead he will analyze and he will study the all the test cases based on the customer requirements this test cases right or not he will review so that is called sending the test case for lead review refining the design based on peer or lead comments so, so you will give some suggestions and uh, 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 some comments so based on the comments we will rectify the problems so whatever we wrote so you will give some comments or, uh, or, or comments or requests or orders that is called uh, we will rectify the problem so he said something oh uh, no 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 like uh, like you should write like this he will give some suggestions based on the suggestions we will rectify the problems that is called refining the design based on p or lead comments after writing the test cases we need to get the approval from business analyst so next one getting the approval from business analyst so once if you get the approval from uh, business analyst we will write the test cases so we will rectify the problems and we will write the re-execute the all the test cases next to srn study understanding the scope SRN means software release note. It is a note prepared by technical department people and sending to testing department people. So in this document, we have some points. Build path information, test data path information, deployment document path information, known issues path information, release manager name, release date, build number, version number, project name, module name. After studying, we will estimate the scope. Next deployment document study deployment document means delivery so before delivery compulsory we need to go to oh sorry before delivery we need to create a setup in our company if it is working then only we will go to customer place and we will install the application to client environment for that purpose each and every software company they will give a they will give installation document or a deployment document using that deployment document guidelines we will install the application to client environment so so deployment document how to install the application to client environment they will give list of documents using that documents we will install the application to client environment conduct sanity testing or build acceptance testing so first we will do one type of testing that is build acceptance testing developer developed one application so before delivering the application so they will divide the whole project into some modules each and every module divided into some sub modules each and every sub module they will divide build wise and they will send into testing department thus that build is whatever they have developed that build is properly further detail testing if you want to perform proper testing this build is properly or not we will do testing so that's why that is called build acceptance testing or build verification testing or sanity testing or smoke testing next 15th point processing the functional testing we will perform functional testing functional testing means compulsory we need to perform some functions on the functionality then only we can say that functionality is properly working or not so we will perform functional testing next defect reporting so after uh, getting the defect we need to re, uh, raise that we need to raise the defect to developers so, so some companies they will form a different different formats or some companies will follow some tools like uh, quality center bugzilla ajira they will use different different tools so some if it is small company they will use only templates only 
only excel templates only they will use so in this uh, template we have some fields like uh, defect id defect description steps for reproducibility submit error date of submission version number bill number assigned to assigned to field filled by development lead will fill the assigned to field getting the modified build from development team getting the modified build from development lead development team so we raise the defect to developers they rectified and they are sending to testing department once again we will test the application so based on the customer requirement this bill is really rectified or verified once again we will do testing so getting the modified build from development team next we will do retesting and regression testing retesting means already tested functionality again and again we will take with multiple sets of data and we will do testing so that's why that is called retesting regression testing we will do two scenarios one scenario is whenever you are raising a def defect then developers they will rectify and they will sending to testing department too. so not only defect functionality already tested functionality is also one second we will do testing so that's why that is called regression testing situation one second situation whenever uh, uh, just developers to develop one application they are sending to testing department we will test that application that application is properly working but next day they added one uh, one new button and they are sending to testing department uh, department one second we will test the, all the functionalities not only uh, new functionality already tested functionality is also one second we will do testing so that's why that is called regression testing we will do regression testing and retesting next performing system testing so wherever you go if it is any software company what we need to do so after developing the application after testing the application uh, testing the application if you want to test the application so first of all they will install the application into one environment to uh, after install installing the application into environment to based on the customer requirement application is properly working or not we will do different different types of testing so that is called system testing so finally we need to do only system testing after developing the application so we will install the application to one environment. Environment means Windows 7 or Windows 8 or Windows XP or Mac or any operating system. We will install the application into one environment. After installing the application into one environment, we will perform different different types of testing on the application. So the type of testing is known as system testing. Last one, test closer. So after executing the test cases, what are the test cases passed, what are the test cases failed, we will list it out in the document that is test closer. What, what are the test cases passed, what are the test cases failed. So we will list it out in one document that is test closer.